contact with the criminal justice system or being undocumented and are being exploited by company owners. These companies run old trucks that lack basic safety inspections and spew dirty emissions. Those emissions are further increased by inefficient routes, leaving communities like mine to suffer with high rates of asthma and other respiratory conditions. On top of all of this, carters are not recycling, sending more waste to landfill, adding additional methane emissions to the system at a time when we are facing a climate emergency. There are a number of critics to this bill who have spent, spread misinformation regarding what the impacts of the legislation would be. Those individuals have chosen to completely disregard uh, three years of intense work to get to this point. A major study that was conducted by DSNY, as well as an advisory board process set up by the department that included all of these same critics. Our legislative process involved a lengthy hearing, as well as meetings with dozens of stakeholders held by both my office as well as our legislative staff. We listened intently to everyone who chose to engage with us and incorporated numerous recommendations into the final legislation. The assertion that this bill has been rushed is disingenuous to say the least, but we must remember that justice delayed is justice denied, and we will and must move forward. Let me be clear, intro 1574 guarantees an end to the wild, wild west days of private carding industry. From now on, companies will be required to comply with strict safety, environmental, and service, service standards. Communities across the city will benefit from reduced traffic, leading to cleaner air, safer streets, and less noise. Businesses will have transparent pricing and reliable service. Workers will no longer be forced to put themselves and the public in danger to complete their routes. Today is a step towards justice. I will, bring, I will be making a bunch of thank yous tomorrow, but I want to give a shout out to all the advocates who worked to make this a reality, especially the folks from Transformed on Trash, as well as my incredible committee staff and the amount of work that they did uh, to make this happen. I just want to thank you so much. I know it hasn't been easy. Uh, we modified this bill so many times, um, so many last minute changes here and there, and uh, you were always ready to do that, including weekends. So I just want to thank you for the work that you did. And Nadia, to you as well, I really appreciate um, all the work that you guys did. Uh, with that, I want to encourage all my colleagues on this committee to vote yes. Thank you. Uh, clerk to call roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on sanitation and solid waste management. All items are coupled. Chair Reynoso. I vote aye. Constantinidis. I vote aye. Cabrera. I vote no in intro 1082A and intro 1574A and an aye on the rest. Chin. Congratulations to Chair Reynoso after all these years. I will eye on all. Cohen. Uh, I also just want to say congratulations. I know how hard you worked and how collaborative you worked on this bill, and uh, I will also have additional comments tomorrow, but uh, you really did a, you know, a really a tremendous amount of effort to try to get all of these pieces together. So I really appreciate it, and with that, I'm going to vote aye. Deutsch. Uh, thank you. Permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Deutsch to explain his vote. So, first of all, on a good note, um, I want to thank our chair for working uh, very hard uh, on, this, uh, on this bill. Um, I do have um, a number of issues uh, with, um, uh, with this bill on uh, intro 1574 and also of the process of this bill. And I just want to say that I did have a meeting with the chair with one of my bid directors uh, when we're discussing uh, intro 15 actually uh, before it was revised and that and that meeting was at the corner bodega right in front of uh, two right across from 250 Broadway and uh, and then I received an email um, not too long at not, not not too long after inviting me to a um, a meeting uh, about the bill and uh, ex explaining the process and going through um, uh, the, the previous, um, before the bill was revised, and then when I responded, I was told that, oh, it was sent to me by mistake, and I wasn't um, intended to, um, it wasn't intended uh, to come to me, that email, so it was like 12 hours before, a night before, they told me that there's a briefing next, next day, and it was sent to me by mistake, and I am a, a committee member um, of this, uh, of the sanitation uh, committee. So I understand uh, what that process was, but I feel that um, there was not 
discussion about the opposition of this bill. Um, there was more discussion of those who supported intro 1574. Now, some of the some of the questions that I did have was how much would this cost taxpayers? So we, we all know that the uh, Department of Sanitation is going to have oversight of this bill, and I still haven't received a definite response. And today we're here voting um, on this bill, and I think it's important for taxpayers to know how much it would cost um, them and how much it's going to cost the city to. Uh, um, to move forward with this bill and to have the oversight on the private carding industry. Uh, in addition to that, in California, after they failed, it, it cost um, the state of California millions of dollars and to, to do some type of damage control. Um, I also want to bring up uh, some of the other issues that I have. Um, on the bill, it says that um, up to three carding companies will, will, will have this RFP. And I did ask that it should say three carding companies. It should not say up to three carding companies, although I received assurance last night, late last evening, that there will be uh, three carding companies per zone. But if that is the case, let it state in the bill that it, there will be three carding companies uh, who will be able to win this RFP um, on the bill. And one carter to have up to 15 zones, to win that RFP up to 15 zones, um, it's, we fail to have that competition with the entrepreneurs. We all know the competition is good, um, and I feel that if one company has, uh, is able to win that, uh, those 15 zones, competition won't be there, and the prices will, will, be, will go up. And I think that's unfair for the, for the business owners uh, throughout the city. And we also, uh, we cannot allow um, the bigger players win all these uh, RFPs, and we need to um, allow the smaller local carding companies whose family-owned businesses were passed on from generation to, to, to generation, and they work very hard to establish a business. And as far as, far as I know, the small carding companies, they are up to speed with, the, with any type of safety um, to upgrade their trucks. So I don't think, I think that we need to um, take out those bad apples. Yes, I agree. And I also agree that we need to improve our streets. Uh, we, need to, we need to improve the safety of, of everyone um, on our streets. So I think that the smaller companies are in compliance uh, with what the city wants to do and, 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 and what the advocates would like to do. Uh, finally, I just want to say that the staggered implementation of this process uh, will, will go in, in small, smaller phases. So that will force... Uh, some of those companies who, uh, who win those zones um, to lay off their workers possibly for six months or longer. And that is unfair to employees by them telling the workers, I'm sorry, we don't have any work for you for six months. And, you know, I, along with, my, with almost a dozen of my colleagues, have written a letter to Commissioner Garcia and to Chair Reynoso uh, to, to, the, to, to delay this vote. Um, on this newly revised bill. Um, I did have a hearing back in June on the previous bill, but I think it's unfair to move forward on this revised bill without having, in, having more input from all the advocates and all the business directors and, uh, and, and the Chamber of Commerce throughout the city. I have received phone calls opposed to this bill from the Chamber of Commerce, from the bid directors uh, in my district and around my district, and I think it's unfair, yes, um, People are saying, we worked in this bill for six years. Um, and I don't think that time should um, have proceed and have presence over implementing and voting on something that's going to have a very long impact in our city. And we always look at other states, how other states do. We look at other states, we see how other states failed. I don't trust government. I don't trust how our administration um, ha will have the oversight on, on the private conning industry. And promises could be made today, and promises could be broken tomorrow. We need to assure that all the workers, all the private carding uh, industry workers, have the job opportunity that they deserve. And also, I just want to say that as the chair of the Veterans Committee in the New York City Council, 
um, the private carding company have opened their doors to veterans. And I think that um, having those jobs, and I'm confident that those jobs will be lost to many of our workers in the private carding industry. And we could get to a better place if we work a little bit longer on this bill and postpone this newly revised bill from coming to a vote. And um, with that, I vote no on intro 1574. On the rest? And I on the rest. Thank you. Espinal. Uh, with many congratulations to all the advocates that have put a lot of hard work uh, on this bill and making sure it was a fair bill. And to the chair, uh, I vote aye. Brennan. Aye. Introductions 1083A and 1573A are adopted by the committee, eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with introduction 1082A being adopted by the committee, seven in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions, and 1574 adopted by the committee, six in the affirmative, two in the negative, and no abstentions. Okay, thank you to all my committee members, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.